Hey everyone, what's going on? Just want to report on this new scripted by the numbers story about LeBron James and his King of LA mural being vandalized on July 8th. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, please check out some links in the description. But our sports leagues are absolutely scripted by what is called gematria, the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases that stems back to Jewish mysticism, which is called Kabbalah. And, you know, look at all of the NBA owners, most of them Jewish, they practice this system. And, you know, just check out some of the links in the description. I'm going to make a quick video here. But, you know, right away, look at this article. And our mainstream media is always coded like this, our told history and so on. But King of L.A., they highlight King of L.A. in this article. In Gematria, if you write out King of L.A., it just so happens to equal 42. And you know what Los Angeles, or Lakers equals in Gematria? Lakers equals 42. And you know why LeBron James is a perfect fit for the Los Angeles Lakers? Because LeBron James equals 42. And, you know, he even went to the Lakers... 183 days after his birthday, LeBron James equals 183. I mean, it's just so stupid. And if you learn this knowledge, I mean, if you check out some links in the description, you'll learn it in 15 minutes. It's so easy to apply. You don't even have to do the math in your head because there's this website, gematronator.com, that will do it for you. But, you know, the king of L.A., 42, or King of L.A. equals 42. In this article, they tell us how they fixed it. And you notice how they don't tell you the up here, but then later on in the article, they tell you the third picture shows the mural seems to be back in good condition, although the word of was removed. But they clearly have the in here, right? So they don't want you to know about the in the headline. And so King of L.A. equals 42, LeBron James 42, Lakers 42. When you take out the of and replace it with the King or the King L.A., that equals 42 even. And the word of equals 33, and also the word the equals 33. NBA Finals equals 33, with the S exception, it equals 42. And the big way, the alphabetic order, it equals 78. And this story comes on July 8th, 7 slash 8, a lot like 78. NBA Finals equals 78. Of equals 33. The equals 33. I mean, come on. There's, there, I have a feeling LeBron James, I mean, everybody knows this, I'm sure, but maybe it's not this year, but... When LeBron James does make the NBA Finals with the Lakers, I have a feeling that they're going to lose because one of the big things in the story was also that the guy wrote 3-6 and six on there, like because of LeBron James being 3-6 and six in NBA Finals. And the reason that sticks out so much is because if LeBron James makes the NBA Finals and loses, he'll be 3-7, and seven, just like Los Angeles equals 37, so... If he does make the finals this year or next year or just with the Lakers in general, most likely it seems like he's going to lose considering Los Angeles equals 37. But maybe there's some other factors. If you study this enough, you know, there's something else. Maybe there's something important about being four and six instead. Anyway, the story also comes six months and eight days after his birthday. Or also 190 days. And if you know history, LeBron James, remember when he was with Cleveland, he won the NBA Finals on the anniversary of the real King James's birthday, right? The guy with the King James Bible. And King James, his son, was King Charles. And he was the king during the English Civil War. And a follower of King Charles was a cavalier. So, you know, we got the, the Cavaliers had King James on their team, and King James in history was the father of 
King Charles and a follower of King Charles is a cavalier. You know, what are the odds of that? But this story comes 190 days after LeBron James' birthday. King Charles equals 190. And if Queen Elizabeth dies, her son, Prince Charles, will just be, he'll become the king. King Charles, right? And it was also six months and eight days. Basketball equals 68 in Gematria. And remember, the NBA Finals this year ended on 6-8, June 8th, and they, they got swept. The word sweep equals 68. If you read out King of L.A. Mural, it equals 68. Also, if you read out Prince Charles, it equals 68 in Gematria. So, super synced up to the King's symbolism. Talked a lot about this for the last couple years. How LeBron James super synced up to the royal family. And also the Jesuits. And the Jesuits are intertwined into the royal family. Synced into Freemasonry. Pope Francis. You know, a Freemason Jesuit Pope. Which isn't supposed to even be possible. Anyway, if you go to LeBron's next birthday... It's 175 days. Los Angeles Lakers equal 175. Golden State equals 175. And Pope Francis equals 175. The word Pope in Jewish gematria equals 175. And Pope Francis, the supposed first ever Jesuit Pope, adds what well, he's been really important to the symbolism going on this year, and LeBron James has always been super connected to Pope Francis. In the year that, 2015, the year that Pope Francis visited the United States, he did so on his 923rd day as being the Pope. And then he went to the White House the next day on 923, September 23rd, at 923 in the morning. And earlier in the year, we knew that Golden State was going to win the NBA Finals because they were originally from Philadelphia, and there was a Philadelphia train wreck that happened at 9.23 p.m., and then LeBron James was in that movie Trainwreck later that summer, and in that movie it starts off with Amy Schumer's character being 9 years old, and the rest of the movie takes place 23 years later, and in Jewish Gematria, LeBron James equals 923. And much, much more. LeBron James also turned 33 years old. And he was born 33 days after the 444th anniversary of the Jesuits. And in Gematria, Gema, Gematria and Sumerian Gematria, Jesus Christ equal, or Jesus equals 444. Cross equals 444. And so on. There's a whole bunch of interesting 444s. LeBron James was born in the 444th year of the Jesuits. And he was born three months and three days afterward. And he's currently 33 years old. And think about Jesus supposedly dying on the cross at the age of 33. So, I know it's synced up to the Jesuits. And I went to the Jesuit anniversary. And it's 81 days before the Jesuit anniversary. Pope Francis turned 81 years old, 81 days after the Jesuit anniversary, the first Jesuit Pope, supposedly, and he eight months and one day after his birthday, a lot like an 81, is August 18th, and it's the year of 18, so it's 8-1, whatever, it's, or it's 8-1-8-1-8 is eight months and one day after Pope Francis's 81st birthday. And in Hebrew gematria, using Hebrew lettering, the word Pope just so happens to equal 81 even. So now we're getting this story that is 81 days before the Jesuit anniversary this year. Also, you know, the year Pope Francis came to the United States, he finished his trip in Philadelphia that was synced up to the Warriors. And he did that on September 27th, the Jesuit anniversary. Then later that night, we got the fourth blood moon of the Tetrad. And in Gematria, Pope Francis is identical. You know, look at Pope Francis, 122, 175. Look at Golden State, 122, 175. 
That's why later on that year, Kansas City won the World Series. There was even a guy dressed up like Pope Francis that caught a home run ball of Salvador Perez earlier in the year. And that's why, you know, the Cleveland Cavaliers lost the equal 168, and then the New York Mets lost the World Series. This is all synced up by the numbers. But anyway, you know, just, just wanted to get that point across. It's all about Pope Francis, and yet again, a story about LeBron James, synced up by the numbers, synced up to the Jesuit anniversary. With the end date up here, it's even 191 days after his birthday, and Society of Jesus equals 191 in Gematria. So, also, some of the stuff, I'll put some links in the description. Some of the other stuff I never pointed out in the previous videos were uh, that King James equals 89, just like Los Angeles, California, and LeBron James's full name with the senior on it, how they put it on Wikipedia now. LeBron Ramon James Sr. equals 89. The word religion equals 89. I suppose he had a $154 million contract. I'll just type it out here, King James, 154. A bunch of the news sources said he had a $154 million contract. Well, you, you know why now, right? King James equals 154. L.A. is also fitting. Just L.A. equals 13, and the big way it equals 41. The 13th prime number is 41. The word King equals 41. So... Super fitting for LeBron James to be at the Lakers. No doubt we're getting the story on 7-8 because he's going to take the Lakers to the NBA Finals at some point when he is there, whether it's next year or, you know, the years after. And I got a feeling that he's going to lose, unless maybe he loses to a team that's connected to that number 46. But we'll see. So I just wanted to get that out there. Learn to apply this. It's so easy. I mean, I just I looked the story up. It took me 10, 15 minutes just to do a little bit of research into the story. And, you know, here I am making a, whatever, 13, 14 minute video. So, have a good one. Peace.